Hi everyone, so my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator. In this episode I've created some, uh, some stupid structure and uh, it's nothing fancy, but I'm going to show you how to increase the strength of your parts if you're printing a thing like this. And you wouldn't print this, but it's, it's just for showing how you can uh, uh, increase the strength of a part and how you can prevent it from warping when you're printing this in ABS. So let's dive into it. To begin with, this is just a simple part, uh, which is only three millimeters of a bottom plate. It's three millimeters thick. And on top of that, there are five, five millimeter thick top plates, uh, which are constructed in a 90 degree angle on the top of this plate and this as a whole is a solid so this whole part is, is one solid so I won't have problems with creating an SDL file of it and that sort of things. The thing is that if you try to print this with a uh, fused depositioning modeling printer, an FDM printer, then uh, when this is going to print you will see that uh, at first, the bottom part is created, so there is a, a solid base, and then it starts to print all those things. And well, actually, it won't be that strong because if you put force like from here and you push with force against this plate, then all the force is on those single stupid layer which is here, and well, it won't be that strong. So, how can you increase that kind of strength? Well, it's very easy. You can choose to chamfer it. So, uh, when we, for example, take a look at this part here, and also at this part here, I'm going to zoom in now a little. Uh, when I do a thing like this, this is just simple chamfering of two millimeters from, from the bottom side. Now it's way stronger because there is a lot more material being used to make it stronger and it, it has a solid bond. But now when you look at it from a side, you'll see that it's not bonding here at this part. And for a big part like this, well, it won't be a problem, but it can be a problem for some other things. So if you want to do this right, then you don't only choose this side, but you also choose the other parts, like this. And now if you create 2 mm uh, solid, then you see that when you're chamfering a part like this, it's chamfered also in this direction, and this will even make it more strong. So now you really have to, to pay a lot of payload on those shelves, if for example you are going to use it like, uh, well, like this, let's say it's a kind of cabinet, then uh, you would have to put a lot of force on those shelves to get them breaking from this point. But still, they can break and they can very easily break uh, when the force is applied from above, then they can break if not here then well maybe uh, here for example or here or, or there because there is nothing nothing holding this material strong so what can you do about this well let's take a look inside this part and let's draw something like for example from there there and we do that again from this corner all the way up to this corner and now we can uh, construct this, this, and we raise it for 3 millimeters, like this for example. Now there are a lot of things you can do with this part. And I'll show you what in just a few seconds. Now this is one solid part. So this whole construction is solid. Now 
the chances of breaking layers in between here, because these are all layers because you print it uh, on the bottom side, the chances of breaking are way, way smaller than they were before. Also, now you can do another funny thing, and that is you can select these edges to chamfer in, like for example, I do here. But you can also use these edges here, chamfer out. And now this part is really, really strong. So as you see, you can make this very strong at a very easy manner. And now you created some kind of shelf. And of course, you can also create someone in the middle, like here. As you can see, there are a lot of things to, to make the structural uh, strength of this part bigger. There is another thing you can also do. And that is, for example, round the corners like this. Because if you do so, and now I choose a rounding of 10 millimeters. This, boom. If you do so, then your printer will start printing layer by layer. And this will be built up like layers. But then when it comes at the corners, then there will be a strong part here in this bend. And that will make the part very, very strong again. So this, even combined with a solid bottom, makes it a lot stronger. So for example, if I choose this part to raise, like for example this, now it's way stronger again. And I can also create this again, like here, and go here and do it again, like here. And as you can see, now this part is really, really strong. But now you, lose, you use a lot of material, and by using a lot of material, uh, you also have a small problem. Uh, because, well, the print will take longer, uh, it, will, it will use more material. So, there are a lot of things you can do to make your part stronger. Also, creating a small chamfer line here at the top, something like this, just a very small one, will do a lot in strength. Especially if you have things which are round, like we have here. Also here, when you create a site in it, uh, take a look, if I turn it around, yes I can. If you create something like this, the part will be way, way, way stronger. And as you might have noticed, uh, I've created a filament holder uh, for all the people using the DaVinci Pro printer. And on that filament holder, I used a lot of this kind of things just to make the part stronger. So this is how you can create strength in your parts when designing it. And I have done it now in Autodesk 123D Design, which is a great program, and the links will be in the description down below. Uh, but you can do this in every program. You can do this in Tinkercad. You can, there are a lot of programs where you can choose to edit your file this, uh, this type of, of way. So to create strength in your part, make sure you're not printing it like this, with no surroundings. Try to make it like this, or this, or this, or this. Because it makes your parts much and much stronger. Well, this was the video for today. I hope you liked the video. If so, please give it a like. And also, subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified when more videos come out. And there will be videos every Thursday. So every Thursday I will post a new video on 3D printing, on modeling, on designing, creating, and so on. And also, um, I asked a few weeks ago if you would like it, if there would be a live session of creating something. Something we can create as a collaborative team. 
and uh, which can be uploaded to Thingiverse so everyone can can use it and well we have to think of what kind of model that would be but if you would like to do so then please uh, well, tell me in the description down below what you would like to make so maybe we can make something in a live session I loved you as an audience I loved you to follow me all to the end um, I will see you next Thursday. Bye then.